I had a few light taps. I had two on the bucktail, one on the one on the uh, cast master, and I think I'm pretty sure they were small fluke. Uh, so there is some something going on. I thought I seen some splashes a bit out, so I might try swinging a swimmer through. We'll see. I'm just getting started. Don't know what's going on, and uh, maybe we can figure something out. Another good search and lure, cast master. So I'm going to give this guy a shot. It's one ounce, one and a half ounce maybe. And uh, she, it does us good. Ah, that's a, I thought they were. I'll work this a little more. There could be some baits around. Give that a little shake. The birds seem to be actively looking, so that's a good sign. Probably a fluke again. I'm working the cast master. Feels like a fluke. I'm pretty sure there's blues around to what size, I don't know. Yeah, he's a fluke. They're in a bit thicker. I'm sure I would have had a couple more. So, so far I'm working along the bottom, uh, going between bucktails and uh, metals, um, and picking up a few fluke, flounder, uh, summer flounder, a bunch of bites, smaller fish, and uh, just waiting to see if something happens. But uh, those fluke are keeping me busy. Pretty much so for every one I'm getting, I'm probably missing a couple strikes. They're just smaller fish. I'm going to start working a bucktail through. I'm going to try a couple different things. Not sure what's going on, but uh, maybe we'll figure something out. Oh, that was a whipping band of rain. <laughs> I got the edge of it right here. You can see it shooting across. I thought it would... Here comes another. All right, we're going to get soaked. All right, this is looking good now. Rain is on and off. This is just perfect. Cold, but it's not cold. And uh, just looking now to see if there's the fisher. The blue fisher have kind of pushed in now, so I'm looking to see if there's any swirling action. Maybe I'll try a popper, but I got a. I'm working a bucktail now. All right, the rain just let off. They're casting with a bucktail. Those birds are pushing close, but they're jumping out there. We got blues right out there. And, well, I'm on one now, and I am working a bucktail. Look at them pop out there. Oh, wow. Good stuff. Whoa. He's bigger than I thought. Wow, that's a nice blue. And uh, got the bucktail. They're popping out there. The birds are getting closer. So maybe we'll have a few more fish. That's a nice fish right there. Not huge, but running a bit bigger than they've been. Nice pod just out there. You get them up like a loaf of bread. That's a nice size fish. Right. The water's there. Wow, they're, I don't know if they're still out there, but they were popping when I was bringing them in. Tons of birds, so maybe there's a few more. Okay, I am using, this is 30 pound braid, and I do have a clip. Um, yeah, actually, a bucktail will work better without a clip. And, of course, the bucktail I talked about, I think it's three quarters, at most one ounce, felt trailer. Probably two and a half, three feet of 30-pound monofilament. So that's about, oh, about a 50-pound barrel swivel. And I think it might be about 40-pound braid. I'm not sure. And that's how I'm set up here, too. All right. They seem to be on the bottom, but they're definitely... Coming up. Whoa! That's a nice fish. I think I heard lightning, but I think we're past the weather. 
You can see it's still raining. Once this, this rain started, the fish pushed right in. So I'm just throwing a bucktail now for the bluefish. I think I've seen one pop over there. This is a nice sized fish. I think it's uh, about a three quarter ounce. Three quarter ounce bucktail. Smiling Bill. And uh, I'm sure that there's bigger fish out there. Whether they push in or not, I'm, I don't know. Let me get him on his way. And uh, that's just a piece of felt I use. Really neat, I'll show you that. Alright, uh, let me, um, I'm using felt as a trailer. And it's great. Um, I did a whole video how to work it. But uh, I just, today I'm just cutting strips just like you would. And just putting them on the hook. You probably can make a whole year's worth or more with uh, one sheet for a dollar. And I'm going to trim that. Just felt strips. And I just tuck them in my bag. I like, I like them thin. I think they wiggle a lot better. And I just put them on just like you would your pork rind. Shape them. It's a little long, so I might make that a little shorter. And they look great in the water. That's what I'm using as my trailer. Birds are scattered. I'm sure those fish are in and out, just whatever they're chasing. It's kind of like you chase those birds; they swing back another way. Rains on and off. Really beautiful, beautiful fishing conditions. To be a little smaller. Went up on the, the drag a little. I don't use a lot of drag. I need a little more drag. I'll thumb it down. That's that's a blue. Maybe he is a little bigger. This is like big fish water. I don't know if they'll be getting bigger. And they're just pushing in and out now. And I'm just fishing right now. Smiling Billy Bucktails for bluefish. Um, stormy. Just stormed. I don't know. There could be another band of weather. But that's band of weather is just what we needed. It drove these blues right in. So maybe I'll try a, a top water later, but just fishing bucktails now. Yeah, you get them. I give the hook a little wiggle. It's got a barb. If you see what I did, you wiggle that hook a little, and it comes out. And this here felt it'll, it'll they'll they'll withstand a beating. Um, like I said, it's relatively inexpensive, so you can make them permanent with glue. I did the video on that, or you can quick like I did them really quick before I left. I just cut the strips, and that's it like squid and it's like the fish pushed out now those birds are just pushing in and out in and out um so the bluefish are definitely in and out not a, nothing you know it's not lock and load fishing for sure but they're definitely fish about um, whoa, whoa. that's feels Paying attention to these birds working the bucktails. They're just in and out, splitting across. I have a feeling that the mayhem didn't start. I don't know if we're gonna get it. But it's got some big rock workers there. They're out there, they're coming in. That's just good blue fishing. You know, they just moving, chasing, casting. Wow! Bucktails. Felt trailer. They're out there now. So you give it a little shake and it comes right out.
just casting the bucktail straight to my left, sometimes to the right, and getting it down to the bottom. And just kind of swinging it, a couple cranks, a couple twitches, and just swimming it through on a swing. That's basically what I'm doing. Lots of little different things, but kind of letting the water just do its magic. Okay. Birds again, like I said, they're kind of breaking up and getting back together. In front of me now. 